it's almost 6 a.m. so tired <laughs> my husband I'm like such a late sleeper my husband woke up in the middle of the night looking for Tylenol <laughs> and so I had to get up and help him look for it and I never really like felt like I got back to sleep it is a busy busy day that's why I wanted to film a day in the life um, just because it felt like you know most of my day in life are pretty low-key we're usually home all day today we're actually gonna have to um, be out so i have a doctor's appointment at 9 30 my husband is so graciously going to help me out with that so he'll come watch you go before he heads to work um if you're new to my channel or just found me i they think i have hypothyroidism I've been having some like thyroid issues. Thyroid issues are like run in my family, it's genetic. So this is the second set of blood work that they're gonna be doing. Um, and then I should find out like what the, the next step or plan of action is. So we're gonna go do that. Um, but for now, for this morning, I'm gonna keep giving him, he's eating some banana. I'm gonna give him some, maybe like a waffle or some toast or something. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee and slowly wake up. Okay, it's 8.45. I'm filming a day in the life today. Got it. Oh, it's crawling on my phone on the floor. Um, it's 8.45 and we're gonna go in like 15 minutes. Um, Jeff is coming with me, like I said, and he'll watch you go while I go, well, while I go in to get my blood work or you can come in with him, whatever. Um, and then he has a gym class at 10.15. So if we're done by 10, we shouldn't have an issue getting there. I mean, I think, fingers crossed, shouldn't be a problem. And Jeff will go to work. And hopefully the morning goes smoothly. We're at the doctor's office. Give me really quick, daddy's here. Oh my gosh, I've drank so much water this morning so that they, they had a problem last time I was here finding my vein and they said I needed to be like really, really hydrated. And so <laughs> I've drank so much water and I'm starving because they told me, well, they didn't tell me this time that I had to fast, but I did last time. So I'm just assuming. All right, let's go inside. Oh gosh, he goes crying so much. This is like such a mess. But I'm gonna get my blood work done now. And um, yeah, I'll update you guys later because he's crying so much. There's a lot of things going on. Okay, we're at Hugo's gym class. We made it in perfect timing. <sighs> that was so chaotic. Hugo freaked out. He did this the last time I had a doctor's appointment. We brought him, he freaked out the moment I left to go in the back to get blood work done. And then Jeff brought him back and he was like still sobbing. And then he just wouldn't stop like crying. And I mean, I know that like we're together a lot and it's just like, but it's weird. Cause like he won't do that if I leave him home and like, you know, the days that like I leave him home with Jeff and like go run errands or with my mom, he's fine. I just think it's like a different environment and he gets nervous, but the, nurses and the secretaries there were all so sweet everyone was so nice and understanding and they brought in stickers and like it was just like the ideal situation with how like thoughtful and like empathetic everyone was um so i'm gonna take him inside i will let you guys know what the doctor said um when probably when we get back home um or we need to run an errand after this like a fun christmas errand and so um yeah, I'll I'll do he's gonna get restless. So let's go into your gym class. Those are the stickers they gave you, huh? You have Mickey, Elmo, SpongeBob. He's actually so content back here right now. It's so funny. It's like an abnormally warm day today too. It's almost 50 degrees. Oh my goodness. We just had to leave his gym class early. He like screamed and cried the entire time. He's never done that before, ever. <sighs> Doctor's appointment just like really did not set him up for success. Oh my gosh, I was like so that mom with that kid today in the class. There were so many kids there and I think like his crying and his screaming started like setting off other kids. He will definitely fall asleep in the car now. I have, not I have to, but like, we don't have Christmas lights. We set up our tree yesterday. We were gonna decorate yesterday. And the whole idea was like, oh, we'll decorate for Christmas. And it'll be so great. We'll have it for the week of Thanksgiving. But we found out that we don't have any Christmas lights. 
if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that my husband and I lived in Manhattan for three years, and then we moved down to Florida for a year, and then we moved back up to New York. We're living with my parents for two years, and now we finally have our own place. And like somewhere in between all of that, we lost all our Christmas lights. So I was gonna go to the store and buy some Christmas lights. I was gonna go to the Christmas tree shop and like make a whole thing out of it. Bring him obviously, and like try to find out a tree skirt too we don't have. But now I'm like, oh my God, do I even wanna try? But if he sleeps, then I think he'll be okay in the store. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drive there, he'll fall asleep. It's like a nice, you know, 30 minute drive. Oh my gosh, what a day. Okay, somebody is awake, we're gonna go inside. Oh, look how cute. But well, we're in the Christmas tree shop. Let's go find some lights. Oh, we're home. All is right in the world again. That was something else. This whole morning was kind of bananas. So the news from the doctor is that, so obviously they just took my blood work again, so they couldn't test it and then let me know how my thyroid levels are doing. But he still wants me to see an endocrinologist because of the nodules that I have on my thyroid, which reminds me I have to upload or like not upload. I have to live my video for today, my vlog. Um, but yeah, they want me to see an endocrinologist. So I have a specialist who understands what's going on and can keep an eye on the nodules because they can become cancerous if you if they grow or if they become cancerous and um, right now they're benign so like not an issue so i need to do that um and yeah he said that he would call me and let me know what the blood tests say um and he didn't mention anything about medication this go around he did last time and he said that if my levels were still low i would have to go on medication but we'll see that's the doctor's info. I bought so much stuff at the Christmas tree shop, like was not expecting to buy that many Christmas decorations, but they had so many good things. And I will show you all of that a little bit later. I am going to go set my video to live right now and then have something to eat because I'm pretty, pretty hungry. Okay, so here is like a little overview of what I ended up getting. I thought that those red Christmas ornaments were so pretty. And so I got that whole little set we don't have any Christmas. I don't think we have any Christmas balls for the tree. Um, and then I picked up a bunch of these absolutely gorgeous. They're, I don't even know what you'd call them, but you can stick them in your Christmas tree, especially if you have a smaller fake tree. They really like, I don't know, they like make the tree a little wider. They fill it out really, really well. So picked up a bunch of those. My mom also uses this on her real tree. They get a real tree every year. And so I, I just think it's so nice for filling out your Christmas tree. I got two 72 inch garlands with pretty red berries, poinsettias, and some gold glittered pine cones. I thought those were nice. And then in here, I picked up some gift boxes. They had a really good deal. They were just a dollar for, I think, like four gift boxes or three, no, four or five. Some candy canes, some lights. I got some really pretty gold ribbons to put on our Christmas tree. Some tissue paper and bows for decorating and then some gift tags. I really like the Christmas tree shops. Oh, my hair. Sorry. I really love the Christmas tree shops gift tags. These um, sticky ones, like the stickers. Love those. Um, I think that's everything. I, oh, I got the last thing I got was this pretty little bell set. I thought this would be nice for our front door um, because our neighbors have this like really gorgeous wreath on their front door. And I thought like it would be nice we don't need like a huge wreath right now. It would be nice to like have something a little more simple. Um, and so that's everything that I picked up. I am going to, I'm gonna attempt to put the lights on the Christmas tree now. Um, and I'm gonna hold off on decorating cause I know that Jeff wants to be here for all of that. But I think he'll be okay if I do the lights now. But yeah, I love what I got. And I think it's gonna look so, so pretty.
pretty, but the bad news is I didn't buy enough boxes. I got three boxes of lights and that wasn't enough. So I think I need like two or three more, probably just two. But yeah, all right, so far so good. It's like four o'clock. I've been fighting, feeling tired, feeling really sleepy. And we've just been kind of hanging out for the past like hour and a bit. And I am going to start our nighttime routine, but I'm not gonna film it because I'm going to be filming and uploading a nighttime routine uh, really, really soon. And our nighttime routines have been like, I don't wanna say like militaristic, but we've had the exact same night routine since Hugo was like, I don't know, eight or nine months old. And it's just like continued to work for us. And so I just like keep to it, keep to it like to a T. So I'm not gonna film that now. I will probably check back in with you guys a little bit later, once I've made dinner and once he's eaten and et cetera, et cetera. Purple, Gerald's fur is purple. We are reading stories before bedtime. Right, honey? <laughs> oh, the other thing that I was looking that I wanted to get at the Christmas tree shop was a tree skirt, because we don't have one. But I didn't like any of the ones they had. They were all so gaudy and not my style. So we have some white fabric that like supposed to look like snow. Um, so I think I might just stick that around the base of the Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> ho, ho, ho. All right, guys, that baby is sleeping. My husband is about maybe like a half hour, 35 minutes away and I need to get started on dinner and then he will come home we will eat dinner together probably watch a show for like a half hour and then i'll head to bed um, so i'm gonna end this day in the life here today was bananas bananas but luckily i didn't feel like super stressed about it i, I think especially when hugo has tantrums or is going through a really hard time i mean you know, like sometimes it'll make me feel anxious and overwhelmed. But a lot of the times it's like, it is what it is. And he's having these moments because he can't express himself. He's experiencing a lot of emotions. He doesn't know how to handle. He's experiencing those emotions for the first time sometimes, or maybe he's teething really badly. He's in pain, I don't know. And so I just take it in stride. Like I just take it in stride. I give myself a free pass when I need it. Like today he watched Toy Story and like, I'm not gonna make myself feel guilty about that. And oh, and oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put on Toy Story 1 and then I'm gonna put on Toy Story 2. And I'm not gonna make myself feel bad that like my child had too much screen time today because we all have those days. We all need those breaks. And especially today when the morning just started out so intensely with his screaming and crying at the doctor's office and then screaming and crying at his gym class. I was having to leave early. Like it was just a chaotic morning. And I just, I let it roll off my back. Like I let it come, it's coming. I let it roll off my back and I continue on. So if that's any bit of advice I can give to anyone, if you are feeling overwhelmed, mamas, I have been there. You are feeling overwhelmed. Take a deep breath and do something that you know will give you the free moment. So whether it's giving your child their favorite toy to play with for 15 minutes, putting on a TV show for your child, putting on a movie, like something so that they are preoccupied so that you can collect yourself and feel like you have a moment to like reset and recharge. Anyway, I'm rambling as I tend to do. Um, yeah, I'm going to make dinner. I hope you are all having an amazing week. I don't know if this is going up. I think I think I might put this up Wednesday, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Um, today's Monday, by the way, so like two days. Um, I hope that you guys are having an amazing holiday season so far. I hope you have a fantastic and wonderful and magical Thanksgiving tomorrow with family, um, whether you know, you're going to family or the family are coming to you, or maybe you're just doing like really low key, quiet Thanksgiving. Um, whatever you guys are doing, I hope that it's a day filled with gratitude and love. And I am sending all of my love to you all. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.